Well, what's going on, everybody? Well, I'm kind of a little upset today. I'm sitting here trying to do some work on some wheels, and I can't find my bit for my electric screwdriver. That's the proper size I'm looking for. I don't know where the heck I misplaced it. I don't go anywhere else with it but this area, and I've searched everywhere. But when you got cats, there's no telling. Anyway, as you can see, we got a tire here because I need to put the, the Proline dual stage foam in these front tires because as you can tell, we are running flats. And it ain't because there's air missing. I mean, this is just how they sit. That's bad. The foam has seen better days probably. Now the rear, those that follow the channel know, I've already got a dual stage in the back. So I just gotta put some in the front. All right, at least we got them apart now. No problems there. It is pretty remarkable how well they were sealed up to keep them foams that clean. I thought they were going to be like destroyed and all nasty, but no, they never got wet. Obviously, like I was saying in here, you know, where the rim seats, that part got wet, but not inside. These are weighted also, by the way. There is some weight to them. So anyway, I'm going to go clean these wheels up real quick so we can put them back together. We're going out for Chinese food tonight at the Yummy Orient in Mount Olive. Well, all right, we're back from dinner. Oh, man, it was good. I love that Chinese place. So, anyhow, I went ahead and I just kind of cleaned up the wheels a little bit. They're not perfect, but they'll be fine. Um, I was going to show you the difference between the knockoff dual-stage foam and the Pro-Line. Um, I got one in the tire. It's pretty stiff but it goes in there pretty good and I noticed the uh, foam around the blue part has got a lot more to it and I'll definitely more give than what the generic these are used but still not that used they look similar but they don't have as much cushion when you go it's like very short compared to all that you know it's like done done these were just too hard in the knockoff uh, Mickey Thompson knockoffs or the Super Swamper, but they look like Mickey's Mickey Thompson or whatever they were. Anyway, that's besides the point. For whatever reason, the little difference that's in these is pretty significant when it comes to performance. And this is all crooked looking, the blue string ring in here, but hey, it don't really matter. It's just there to work. So let me see if I can get the other one in the tire and put these together. Now that is so much better than it was with them crushed down flat tires up front. I mean, that is going to be so much better because they do have a lot of give on the outer edge. So much better than the off brand. And I'm not trying to knock anything. And my buddy Eric got those other ones and sent to me. And they look pretty much the same. But man, there's a difference. And these are the tires we had them in. As soon as I took them out of here, and these now have a clear 3D printed insert. I don't know what you call them. They're not foam, but uh, man, these things I like. They're really squishy, sideways and all, but they, you can side hill. These tires, I was just going to get rid of them at first because they were so bad with the other foams, the dual stage knockoffs. And as soon as I put these in there, it just woke these tires up. I love the tires. And I love these 3D printed inserts or whatever you want to call them. They're really cool. Oh, and check out what we did here. We got the lights back in there. We Multicolor, whatever. Red, blue, green, white. Check it out. Boom, baby. We got my FMS Go license plates on the front. These are the metal tags, but they're not as big as the tags that come on this truck. They put some jumbo ass tags on this truck. Like a one seventh tag, so <laughs> that tells you how big they figured this truck was. 
But anyway, the plastic that holds this up here with the double sticky tape, it sticks out like this far because this tag sticks way over here. But it offsets it, so I was able to cut it and make it look even. And also move my license plate that way instead of over here so it's not as close to the fender or the bumper and hopefully I can keep from losing it so we'll see I think it looks great though and now if I could just get that California tag off the back but I don't want to put my I'm not sure if I want to put my easy boy tag on this or I'm gonna find something else for it I believe so anyway we're going to go ahead and get this bad boy outside for about less than 10 minutes or so. That's all the time I really got. So we're going to take it out. I'm going to run it over my new obstacle that I did yesterday with the Jeep. I had to use the winch on the top because it's not really meant to go across yet. So that's the whole point of this is I want to try my new winch. The double motor big bad boy winch that. It seems like it's got a lot of power, but it's noisy. You know, it's not nowhere near as smooth as this one sounds, but if it out pulls it, that's what matters to me. So, so all right, guys, this is going to be a super quick run. Told you. Huh. Um, I haven't got but a few minutes before I have to get in the truck and leave. So, I'm gonna slap this baby in first gear. And we're just going to see. What happens up here now? It's dry today too a little bit. I still don't think we're gonna not like not need the winch. That's not gonna happen, so. Yesterday the Jeep was really wet. You think this is possible without a winch? Nope. The longer wheelbase can make this one even harder than the Jeep. The Jeep went right up the top part there. Or this part. Oops. Yeah, yeah, I'm stuck right there for sure. So here we go. Let's try this again. So, okay, Cece just hooked the winch up for me. Good girl. You don't know I had her train like that, did you? Let's see if we can do this. Watch out, girl. Fusion Pro and a winch. Let's see. Come on, watch out. I hit the wrong button. Thing works very well. I'll give it that. Pull it right over. Don't know if I got it on there or not, but it did. Did its job for sure. Not bad. Of course, the other one did too, but this one, okay. First time I really tested it out if it had the power or not, and it seems very good. I'm happy with it. Let me get this thing lined up straight. All right, watch out, Cece. Let's get this thing down here. Right. Sorry, guys. I gotta get her done. Had to hold that. You gonna go with me? Oh, watch out, Cece. That board ain't mounted. You gotta stay in the center. <laughs> My trick board. Hold on, let me get that back where it goes. There we go. Oh shit, Cece. <laughs> uh, hold on, get my trucks off balance a little bit. There we go. Let me get off before she goes down. That's okay. There we go. I knew it was gonna go up if I didn't get down here quick enough. See, we got teamwork, me and my cat. Come on now, you're gonna flip this whole thing over on the side probably. All right, 
You may look over here for any kind of critters. Don't see nothing. We're good. Man, I love this truck. Can't believe I went ahead and put that Fusion Pro in here. Oh my God, I love it. I mean, the, the SEs are great, don't get me wrong. But the Pro is the Pro for a reason. I just, it's like buttery smooth right now, and I'm not even trying to go slow or nothing. I'm just trying to get it done. But it's so controlled across all this, you know. I have the confidence with it to just go a little faster. That's why I was racing. That'd be good if you didn't want to touch it with your hands, you know what I mean? Yeah. I should have hit the line a little better, huh? Right. You can tell I didn't oil nothing yet if you're listening close enough. I should have went back across the same obstacle I just did, huh? Why don't we do that? I don't have time to go across the whole balance part and stuff. We're just going to go down the teeter-totter and up this thing right here. Cut her short a little bit. Can we get up this? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Yeah. I think I might have heard that kitten just now. Couldn't find it yet. It took off last night. And... See, see, are you coming now? Go, 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 go. Now this side we might be able to come across. Ooh, that was dangerous, but we did it to there anyway. Fusion power. Oh, oh yeah. Saved it. You couldn't tell, but we did. Put the lights back on. All right, sorry guys, this is a super quick run. Uh, I am gonna go up this one more spot, so it's not that quick yet, is it? Um, last night it was too wet for the truck to go all the way up this, so we're gonna try it now with this one. You can tell they're wet tires still. Oops, sorry. Thing's a beast. It's kind of sticks right here. Oh, not good. Uh -oh, can we save it? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We can't. Uh -oh. Oh, we're stuck on there, Here's Bob. All right, we're cheating. <sighs> Unfortunately, I have to go, and we cannot continue on too much more. So, oh, you got to kind of get on it right there. I mean, it's in there, they're holding that thorn. So, anyway, guys, please like subscribe share and i will catch you on the next one peace